Hey everybody, Mark Spect the Comics and I'm back. This time I ended up meeting up with a friend in the comic community, Jaguar. When I was driving back home from Colorado, we ended up going to a comic shop, we hung out, and then he ended up giving me an A-OK. -okay. So uh, if you want to see what books I ended up picking up at that shop and the A-OK -okay I received from uh, Jaguar, stay tuned for that intro. <laughs> Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. Like I said, ended up meeting up with a good friend of mine in the comic community, Jaguar. I'll drop his information down in the uh, description so you guys can uh, check out his channel and subscribe and follow him on IG. Great community member. Been talking to Jaguar for quite some time on uh, back and forth on IG. And, um, you know, I found out that going on my way back home through the Midwest that uh, he's in Ohio. So um, we ended up meeting up a little bit, you know, in between. And uh, we met up in Columbus. We went to this cool shop called Capital City Comics and um, spent a little bit of time there during my, like, in between my rest time, you know, between that big stretch of driving. I think it was like a six, seven and a half hour drive that day. Um, and uh, so we ended up spending some time there because it was a shop he mentioned he's always wanted to go to. And it was a great time. Tons of back issues. Um, they had some toys there. They had some trade paperbacks. They had some good wall books. Um, a little bit of everything, to be honest. They were even showing some, uh, they were uh, showing the Doctor Strange movie on, uh, on TV there while we were there. So that was pretty cool. Um, so. Shop owner was really nice. I definitely recommend checking that shop out if you're ever in the uh, Columbus area's Capital City Comics. Um, highly recommended, even by uh, locals there in that area. So um, ended up picking up just one book. Um, I was going to pick up some uh, new Comic Book Day books, but uh, this book ended up being, you know, a little pricey. Well, well not pricey, but what I would typically spend and a new comic book day week, you know, usually around the 20 to $40 range. And um, this book ended up being, uh, he was asking for $40, so I paid that. I thought that was pretty fair price. There was two Golden Age books that they had there. Uh, the other one was uh, Two Fisted Tales. I want to say it was like 42 or 39 It was that really cool, like, creepy-looking um, uh, ship cover. But... Um, Ended up just picking this one book up. It's uh, a war book. I thought it was pretty neat. I'll show you the book first. And this is U.S. Marines in Action. And you can see there, it's a number one. So, uh, pretty cool book. Um, forget what year this came out. I want to say this was... Well, the easiest way to know is just open up the book and find out, right? Should not be afraid to open up a book this old and uh, be able to handle it as long as you're handling the comics correctly. Just going to open this up. And even the colors. The colors are great for a book this, this age. Um, so this book came out in, there you go, August of 1952. So uh, after World War II, this is already going into the Cold War, but um, just a really cool war cover. So yeah, U.S. Marines in Action, issue number one. And uh, a little advertisement there for, let's see, it looks like here's the neatest, strongest little real electric motor you've ever seen. <laughs> and it's, let's see. Only 2.98. Look at that. <laughs> Just a fun little advertisement for the uh, from the early 50s, and this is from uh, Avon. Avon's the publisher. So uh, I thought that was pretty neat to pick up for uh, you know $40 uh, with a few dollars for uh, taxes. So it came out to 43 total. So not bad at all. Um, we ended up. Uh, he picked up a few books there too, and then we ended up. Um, 
going to, we got some lunch at a place called Frontera, uh, some good Mexican food. We got some uh, tacos, ended up getting a nice plate, shared a beer, a uh, beer or two, and um, then he ended up giving me uh, an A-OK. -okay. Uh, so I'm going to show you off the books. And uh, make sure I got everything in here. First thing I'll show you, which is pretty cool, is this Moon Knight little sketch card. That's pretty sweet. I like that. I believe he said it was from a local artist in the area. Really cool. And um, I'll show you the books, okay? So here we go. First book. Oh, cool. Sandman Universe. This was Nightmare Country issue number one. Um, if you guys had not read, this was a fun read. I did read this. This was, uh, one of the books I recommended for new comic book day that week as well. Really fun read. I'm excited to read, uh, issue number two. And, uh, this was obviously black label and it was written by, uh, James Tunney in the fourth. So there you go. Great start to the AOK. -okay. All right. Next book. What we got? Oh, we got a Charlton Comics. This is uh, Ghostly Tales, issue number 117. Very cool, very cool. I like, this is a nice cover. This is almost like reminiscent of uh, a Golden Age, uh, like pre-code horror cover, just the way it's drawn. That's really neat. Um, got, I don't know, this is some like cool, really cool uh, creature here. Looks like it's drawn by Staten. Interesting. That's neat. I like that. He knows I'm a big fan of uh, pre-code horror and Bronze Age horror, so uh, that was that was very fitting. All right, next book. Oh, speaking of Bronze Age horror, here we go. Tomb of Dracula, issue number eight. I do not have this issue. Really cool. Um, just obviously a few issues before the uh, first appearance of Blade. This is great. It says, prepare yourself to meet, oh, to greet my uh, vampire legions. There you go. That's awesome. I like that. Yeah, that's in pretty nice condition. Wow. All right. Next one up. Oh, another one. Here we go. So we went from Marvel. Now we went to... DC, and this is House of Secrets, issue number 93, and it's right after that classic House of Secrets, issue number 92, which we all know that cover. So this is a beautiful cover. Look at that. Um, I forget. This is Wrights, Bernie Wrightson as well. I'm not sure. I'd have to look it up. But uh, obviously, this is Bronze Age DC horror, which I love. I like how it says only 25 cents, <laughs> bigger and better. <laughs> and there's a date stamp right on there too. Let me just zoom on it so you can see that. That's pretty cool. Lonely in death, never kill a witch's son. I like that. That's dope. All right. Next book. Oh, what do we got here? Dark Knight's Metal, issue number three. I like this. Big, uh, I was a big fan of the, the Metal and Dark Knights uh, series. Uh, this is, uh, what is it, Scott Snyder, yep, Greg Capullo, Jonathan Clapian, and uh, and this is actually a Jim Lee uh, cover. And uh, if you can see here, there are some signatures here. So you got one here at the top, uh, one here as well, and one there at the bottom. Um, so I'm trying to see who these signatures are. Trying to see. I know this one looks like Scott Snyder because I believe I've had a Scott Snyder signed book before. I'm pretty sure that's Scott Snyder. And I want to say either this is Greg Capullo right here. And is this Jim Lee? I'm not sure. You're going to have to let me know, uh, Jack. Jack, I'm not sure on this one. Uh, you're going to be able to clarify that for me or uh, people in the comments in below who are familiar with the signatures. 
but I'm pretty sure that this one right here is Scott is is definitely Scott Snyder. That is dope. I, I don't I don't have any um, of uh, of uh, Capullo's uh, signature or Jim Lee's, so that'd be pretty cool if that if those are those that are on here. Really cool. Thanks, man. That's awesome. And uh, the last book. Oh, another House of Secrets. This is a this. Is, like this. This is uh, House of Secrets issue number 89. Look at that. That's gorgeous. I like how uh, she looks like she's running away from the castle and there's somebody there just creeping, looking right at her. That, see, that's that's why I like Bronze, Bronze Age and Pre-Code Horror. It's just that chilling factor. That's awesome. Could she spend one night at Hassling's Castle and live? <laughs> that's dope. Uh, Dragon, that's awesome. Like I said, I was just happy hanging out with you and uh, you know meeting up with the, the comic shop and having lunch and just talking. That and then obviously this was, you know, an added plus. Um, so that was amazing. Thanks a lot, buddy. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh, video. If you did, hit the thumbs up. I'm gonna put all of Jaguar's information in the description so you can sub to his channel, follow him on IG and all that stuff. So uh, until next time, Rock Comics, out.